Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to be talking about the items in New World that we have actually gone over uh, June 3rd, 2020. We actually had a blog post that came out about the items we're going to be able to see and use in New World. Uh, so we're going to start out just kind of reading through it and talking about it. So the consumables, there's food and drinks. Uh, the food and drinks can play an important role in your ability to take on the dangers of Eternum. Eating and drinking provides slow health regeneration over an extended period of time. If you want to make the most of your short burst of health recovery, we advise to wait until you are in a safe place before consuming food and drinks. Furthermore, while raw, and foods, uh, raw foods and fresh water can be used in a pinch, the way to ensure you are getting the most out of the food in your possession is to cook it at a camp or a kitchen in a settlement. There is a wide variety of cooked food and brewed drinks. When consumed, prepared food and drinks will not only initially heal you, but also provide a longer state of slower health recovery. This recovery is constant. Whether you are in or out of combat, prepared foods provide additional points of constitution. The attribute that governs your base health. Additionally, Many prepared food and drink items also offer buffs that can increase your defense against certain enemies, enhance your stamina recovery, or even temporarily hone a crafting skill. No matter what you are doing, it is important to have the right food for the task at hand. Potions and Tinctures Potions and tinctures are both small vials of drinkable substance that grant specific bonuses. For instance, potions provide a general magical effect that lasts for several minutes. You might drink a potion to increase the carry weight of your inventory or enhance your defense against a particular elemental damage type such as lightning. Tinctures also take effect instantly and in the majority of cases do not linger in their effect. Health and mana tinctures are common examples of this. If you want to quickly recover health or mana while in combat, they are easily the way to go. Tinctures are also used to rid yourself of dangers and poisons um, and they stop yourself from bleeding as well. Weapon coatings. So weapon coatings are the key to gaining an advantage in combat against the various creatures of Eternum. They can be crafted at any camp once you reach the required level. You may also find them looting um, on your adventures and you know weapon coatings apply to a weapon and grant it a categorical damage bonus against a particular family of creatures. For instance, applying a corruption coating to your weapon will increase its damage against corrupted enemies. Equipment, weapons, and armor. While exploring and fighting creatures, you can find and acquire equipment, items that can be immediately used, provided you are at a certain level to be able to equip them. Each equipment item has a few features in common that determine how powerful the item is. The first feature is the item's gear score. Items with higher gear scores are more powerful. The higher the gear score is, the more damage the weapon will deal and the more protective the armor will be. The second is the item's perks. An item can drop with up to three perks on it. The perks an item can drop with are pulled from a pool of potential perks. The same kind of item can function differently depending on which perks it drops with. Generally, items with higher gear scores have the potential to drop with more perks and or more powerful versions of those perks. Items with more perks are rarer than items without, so our rarity definition is based on the number of perks an item has. No perks equal a common, one perk equals an uncommon, two perks equal a rare, and three perks is that purple beautiful sword there on the end, and that is an epic. Uh, now we're going to go to the third feature to look for in an item's gem slot. Occasionally items can drop with an empty gem slot. Anyone can socket a gem into an item, but the gemstone must first be cut by a skilled jewel crafter. Socketed gemstones cannot be removed, but in the majority of cases they can be replaced. Gemstones enhance one or more characters' core attributes. Weapons, armors, and other equipment items can have different perks. Weapon perks can improve a weapon's stats and even add additional elemental damage to them. While armor perks can increase defense against different kinds of damage or add extra pockets to allow you to carry more weight in your inventory. So now we're going to look at armor weight and equip load. Each piece of armor that you wear contributes to your overall equip load, which in return uh, can affect your mobility when evading. There are three states of equip load, light, normal, and heavy. In parallel, there are also three weight categories of armor, 
light, medium, and heavy. Wearing all light armor will keep you in the fast movement state. Wearing all medium armor will place you squirrel will place you squarely in the normal movement state and wearing all heavy armor makes you and wearing all heavy armor moves you into the heavy movement state. Lighter armor trends towards more evasive playstyles and protection against elemental damage types, while heavier armors kind of do the exact opposite and protection against physical damage types. Uh, there is a wide variety of weight variants within a particular weight category. You can mix and match different armors to get the most effective protection for the movement state you want to play in. Uh, the total weight of the armor is what matters, not the individual pieces. There are even item perks that affect armor's weight. Uh, now we're going to look at the named and legendary items. During your adventures in Eternum, you will find a variety of named and legendary items. Unlike regular items, named and legendary items have curated perks and fixed gear scores. Some of them even come with pre-socketed gems. While the most reliable way to acquire named or legendary items is by engaging with the most dangerous and challenging foes Eternum has to offer, there are legendary level items to be found for players of any level. Trinkets and bags. Trinkets provide passive bonuses to the character's core. Tr uh, trinkets provide passive bonuses to the character's core attributes. Trinkets can grant additional tr tribute points to one or more attribute. All trinkets come with a pre-socketed gem that can be replaced, like weapons and armor. Trinkets have their own subset of perks that offer benefits unique to trinkets. Bags increase the amount of weight you can carry in your inventory and have their own set of perks as well. Crafting resources. In Eternum, you will often find a mixture of raw and redefined resources while exploring. While the bulk of these resources can uh, you know, also be found naturally occurring in the world, such as wood from trees or from vines, some of them can only be obtained in the various supply caches and coffers found throughout the settlements and crumbling ruins that are in danger all throughout Eternum. The containers you search through may also yield rare and powerful crafting resources. Thanks guys for tuning in to today's video and I hope you guys learned a lot about the items that are going to be coming in New World when we start that game. You're going to want to know pretty much everything uh, there is to know so that you can get off to a good start and a good um, you know jump head start to all those people that are going to be rushing through it. Obviously you're going to want to take your time and have a good time with it but it's great to know a little bit of information and background before you jump into it. So thanks again guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to hit that sub button if you appreciate the videos.